Hey everybody, welcome to Spirit Please, Momodor Moonlight Farewell. Before we begin, like and subscribe. I'm gonna erase this file because I was just using that to practice. And I did play a little bit of the game just to get myself more familiar with it, but I played the entire, I, um, was it Momodura, Referee Under the Moonlight? I've also played Minoria. Those are both on the channel. Exceptional games. The music really gets, gets to me. So I have that higher than I do, well, maybe not my volume, but I have it higher than I do the uh, sound effects. So I hope that does help. But it's usually, it's a pretty good experience. So I'm going to keep it on normal. I don't know what adaptive difficulty means. When I looking up reviews on this game, the biggest thing I saw was like, it's too easy. It's too linear. So let's take off the easy. Because even though a game is linear, it doesn't mean you can't, you know, enjoy it for what it is. It's not necessarily a roguelite. And I like playing with games like this that are fairly linear. As long as they have a good story and good music, which these seem to. Oh, I forgot to hit the A button there, sorry. So from what I understand, this is uh, supposed to sum up the other Momodora games. The last one, the ending was sad, man. The Toll of the Black Bell. Thirteen times it echoed under the moonlit sky. Thirteen times it beckoned death and darkness. May the gods look upon us and grant their mercy. Oh, yes. I also like seeing all the metaphor in these uh, these games that tap into the, the mythological and the mystical. An omen is coming. It's not a good one, and everybody can hear it. That's it's Noah and the Flood, right? The rain's coming. This area is infested with demons. I must hurry and find the bell ringer. All right. Hold A to jump higher. Your character... Your character, per se, in uh, Referee Under the Moonlight was a lot bigger. The cat heard me talking. It's coming. It's coming. Beautiful. No, 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 no. little spinny thing. Ow! Alright, come on, cat. The lap is what you desire. So far, I'm doing terrible. I remember these guys, though. Perhaps I did need to fight them. Wow. Okay. Healing bell. Oh, that's right. You come with a built-in healing spell. I'm not sure if that was... Standard in the last game. It might have been, but like... Your MP was certainly... Excuse me. Certainly not... As, a uh, Plentiful. At least it didn't seem that way. Wow. Uh, roll. Yes. Also, hidden walls are certainly a thing in this game. Is this... Okay. Like here. Is there something up here? E okay. Up, up, down, right, down, left. Take sigil. Health is limited to one while this sigil is attuned. Probably won't be equipping that. You, uh, you hardcore gamers, you can go ahead and do that. Yo, that parry's huge. Cat, come on, man. Oh my gosh, you knocked my headphones out. Get out of here. You know how much space is on the lap. It's non-existent. Alright, I think we're good.
Strike it to save your progress. All right, we're good. So I did fight this boss here. Briefly. Because he... He certainly trounced me the first time. And you might look at this and be like, how? Well, the answer to that is I tried to stay at a distance and fight him, which is absolutely what I should not have done. Ooh. Turn around, my dear. And that's, uh, I think, a little MP glob, so I can heal. MP restored. And that, well, it's actually not that much damage. The, um, the amount of damage my arrow does is terrible. What's that, like, eight? <laughs> Maybe it's just strong against it or something. Oh. Momo, please wake up. Cerisa, is this my house? Momo, we were so worried about you. Dora found you unconscious. Please rest for now. When you are feeling better, go see their matriarch. She's waiting for you. I think in the last game, like, all the characters were girls. So, get ready for that. When you're feeling better, go say, okay, I got you. Cross. That means go through the door. Uh... Love the music here, man. Momo, this dot of berry is finally ripe. You should eat it. Thank you for your generosity. I know it's not a lot, but it will increase your vitality. If only we had more of these to help you recover better. Don't worry about it. There's more than enough. Jump, jump. <laughs> it's too much berry. That's good, though. 400 health is probably... You know, more is better. Companion. Okay. They provide some utility in the field, depending upon the personality. Check the notes menu for more information. Okay. Probably not going to ever equip that. Okay. I remember if I go down too fast, they won't... Uh, I'm going to get rid of all these exclamation points. Healing bell, which I just have. Dodge is good. Perfect dodge! I got to probably do that more often it says defeat enemies to obtain more okay that's like the currency of the game heavenly lilies that's something that increases attack power doing important battles to shinies okay magical shinies how are they different than lunar crystals defeat enemies to obtain them and then what's magical shinies pick them up restore some oh okay 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 magical shinies increase your magic points i got it okay Oh, okay, this makes sense. So that's this is why that other enemy couldn't be hit by the bow. It's a weak hit. Dim numbers are weak hits. Bleeding, cursed, tired. Yeah, I understand that one, man. Luckily, coffee. Healthy. The status effect received when making an offering to Bellshine. This effect is temporary and will automatically restore your health and magic while it lasts. That's kind of neat. We're good? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Healer. What's it? What's it do? What's it? What's it do? <laughs> Select a companion to travel with. Equip companion. Okay, I guess he heals. It says healer next to him. We'll just run with that. <gasps> oh, there's a pet and a kitty. Ah, what day is it? It is February 23rd. None of these. 
Yes. 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 So it's 4-4. Four, four. That's what I said before, I believe. The village's festivities are listed here. Preparations to the upcoming solstice. Festival of the Northern Solstice. Ceremony for selecting a sacrificial maiden. Oh, yeah. That brings me back to the last game. Sacrificial maiden. That's... That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Okay. Sarisa told me that the matriarch is waiting for me. I should go meet with her before leaving the village. Okay, that's the way out. You just eventually can't roll. Oh, oh what's this? Weekly schedule for cleaning. Odd days. Isadora Doralina. Even days. Noroi Liz. So... There's the, those are the only two people that clean. Not me. I am beyond cleaning. Pet, pet. Inspect. Okay. There, there were some crystals in the box or something. Make an offer to Lunar Crystals at Beltrines. Receive a blessing that restores health and magic over time. So it's like a regen spell. Something like that. It might come in handy later. Yo, it's a dude. Also, Graham, there's like a grandpa over there, too. So maybe this game is not all... And Momodora of Reverie and the Moonlight wasn't all, all girls. There was like two guys in it. But they're definitely the minority. Good evening, Neuroyal. How can I help you? Just taking a look around. Right. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, actually, I have some documents that actually belong to you, Miss Momo. There are some notes you've left here a while ago. Oh, right. I forgot to get those back, didn't I? I'm afraid so. Not that it's a problem. We have plenty of space. I'm very organized. Don't worry, Neroyal. Just let me get those notes back. Here they are. Okay. Oh, man. It's going to take a minute. Description of the conflict that led the village of Loon to the brink of a destruction approximately 500 years ago, at the time of the deadly disease... At the time, a deadly disease was scattered across the lands. The plague, which turned living beings into malformed creatures, came to be known as the Curse of Karst. Those afflicted by the curse became stuck in a trans transitory state between life and death. The people of Lund and their best warriors, the four maidens of Loon, fought to repel the menace in their land. One other heroine, which came from seemingly nowhere, proved to me of the utmost importance in the battles that took place. Even though the conflict of the village of Loon resulted in many casualties, and of the four maidens, only Kaha remained. Alone, she traveled to the land of Karst in hopes of sealing away the origin of the curse. This is, again, something that happened 500 years ago. The priestess Kaho of Reynol, of the village of Loon, was sent to the eastern lands of Karst to find the source of the demon curse and seal it away. Donning a black dress worn by maidens chosen to sacrifice themselves, <laughs> Jeez. she ventured through the foreign land fighting nightmarish battles. In the end, Kao sealed away the curse of Karst by drawing it into her own body. This, however, took her life in the process. Through the slowly rebuilding, through the slowly rebuilding process of Loon, the village name was changed to Ko to honor their heroine's noble sacrifice. As the years passed, the people of the village began worshiping the Ford Maidens as goddesses. Wow. Alright. This place took place seven years ago in the village of Koho. The young priestess Isadora had her mother's life taken in a traditional ceremony to honor the deeds of the maidens of the past. Unable to cope with her mother's death, Isadora broke the rules of the village and trespassed into the ancient shrine. Her goal was to find a certain item that could bring the dead back to life. After exploring, she met with a strong archdemon. No one's cursed for trying to defy the rules of nature. The curse as it was turned Isadora into a demon, a beast doomed to live among the dead in the underworld. Jeez. Again, seven years ago, Isadora's curse changed her heart completely. The orphan girl would do anything to bring her mother back was no more. As a demon, she quickly rose in power and began commanding other lesser demons. Naturally, the presence of demons around the village of Ko was seen as a threat to be solved. Momo Reynol, a novice priestess, was appointed to investigate the ruins of Hon Hono Shrine. I think that it was the last game. Where the presence of demons was stronger. This was to be Momo's initiation task. Your initiation task is to go kill, like, the queen of demons? What? Did... <laughs> Overseeing this mission was her older sister, Nanashi Reynol. The battle between Momo and Isadora took place in a section of the underworld con connected to the ruins of the shrine, wielding a sacred green leaf. Except we had a red one, I think. Momo was able to purify Isadora's heart and body. 
Leave sacred blessing restored to Stuart's humanity, leaving traces of a cursed mark on her face. Five years ago, Village Quo was once again suffering from strange spirits, apparitions, and lesser demons. Two experienced priestesses were sent to investigate the matter and bring peace. They ventured forth throughout the land, purifying chaotic deities along the way until an eventual arrival of the underworld. Lastly, they confronted a newly appointed goddess of death and purified her twisted heart. <laughs> what? Oh, goddess of death, you know. <laughs> okay. Man, what a world. Oh, down we go. Okay. Oh, there's there's more dudes. That's got to be a dude, right? Ladies don't have facial hair in this game, I think. My grandparents will not stop talking about the nonsense purification water or whatever. I've seen you fight, Momo. Don't need any tea to protect us, right? Well, yes, but... See, I knew it. You're strong, Momo. I will grow to be as strong as you one day. Demons now everywhere at night. Even how could this be happening? The precious sacred tea must not be tainted. The precious tea of the loon tree. Yes, yes, my dear. Nothing will happen to the tea. Do not worry. Tea purifies demons. Save for when tainted by their malice. Yes, yes. It will not be tainted. We have good girls taking care of the situation. Where are the men? There's like no manly men in this whole game. So far. Hello. Seems like demons found their way into the chambers of the old sanctuary. Guarding the entrance to prevent them from coming out. Sigh. Have you talked to your sister yet? She was worried about you. No, I haven't. I should go check on her. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Can't spend time with her when our village is under so much potential danger. We do all we can to protect our people and the loon tree. The gods have chosen this duty for us. Down we go. Oh, kitty. I like how... Pray. You offer a prayer to the heavenly lily. Oh, that's the thing that ups our attack, right? It warms me up. Attack increase from 5 to 7. Pretty cool. Also, I like how I can't spam the roll, but at the same time, I wish I could. I understand why not. It's an interesting mechanic. You get the pets. Achievement unlocked. Pet many cats. <sighs> well, why stop now? Pet, pet. I have a cat on my lap right now. He's constantly up and down. A drawing of Dora has been posted. It's not very well made. Excuse me. We must pet all the cats. I guess I petted his shoulder. Oh, it's got a little baby. Hey, sis. What's going on outside? I've been a little busy. I've been a little busy to catch up. Some sort of trouble, right? We don't know much yet, but the fairies told us one of their bells was stolen. And after we heard the bell toll, many demons started to appear. Either the bell is attracting them, or trying to figure that out. I see. Seems like a regular job for you, sister. Nah, nah. To be honest, I'm getting a different feeling about it this time. It might not be the same as past demon appearances. I wish I could help you more. We'll take care of it. Besides, you have more important things to take care of. That's right. Babies. Babies are awesome. Momo, have you seen my son? He was going to visit my parents, but it's been a while and he hasn't come back. <sighs> that boy's too reckless. Yo, this is a dude. He's gloves on. I think. Something strange is strange tonight. First, that ominous sound now is sudden the presence of demons. Me and some others will stay here to protect the village. It's best we can do while you priestesses figure it out. You smarty, smart, smarts. Miss Momo, what was that loud bell sound from earlier? Have you seen my sister? She should be with us right now. And of course, the blonde cheerleader. Momo, are you okay? Cerisa told me you were found injured deep down. I'm fine now. I think... I think. Thank you for your concern. Please take your time to rest if you need it. Will do. Looks like something has been planted in the soil. Lunar crystals can speed up the growth process. Maybe 20 or so? Okay. That's enough, I think. So we put crystals in the ground to help plants grow. Huh. So 10 minutes from now, what's that? It's like 102. Okay.
High Priestess Momo and Reynold. Holy Matriarch, I was told of your journey. My apologies, Holy Matriarch. I was careless and misjudged the situation. I couldn't, couldn't find what you asked of me. Perhaps you were up against larger threats than expected. The fairies warned us about the disappearance of their black bell. For now, we are assuming that the toll of that bell was an invitation for some demons to come. Should they reach us in our sacred loon tree, it will be the end of our village. What is the... Is this the loon tree? I guess it is. Its bells are growing off of it. When the sacred tree dies, the remaining life forms shall also meet death. That's terrible. The old oracles foretold all of us. This is our duty to prevent it from coming. The black bell must not be rung again, and whoever brought out those demons must be punished for it. Please return this to this duty as soon as you can. Yes, holy matriarch. The past events have taught us a lesson. Should we not stand up to protect the tree, not only do our village, not only our village, but all the lands of this world are to face demise. For now, our people will remain here in the village. Where it is safe, we will protect it from danger. Meanwhile, you will go once more to search for the one who rang the black bell. May you succeed, my child. Holy matriarch, I'll do everything I can to protect our village. I know you will, as you always have done. So that's that's kind of true. Like, you know the run-hide-fight thing they teach you in, like, corporations and warehouses? Don't do that. The, the first thing you need to do, and this is easy to say now for sure, is you fight. You need to fight. Because... What happens statistically, I'm part of my church's uh, security team. Seems like the game's going a little slow. Maybe I can, like. No, not that. Where's the, where's the FPS? Oh, I'll play with this later. Display damage, yes. Apply changes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe it can... <laughs> we should save before we do anything else. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm part of my ch uh, church's security team, so I've gone to a couple seminars where, you know, they, they teach you how to respond to shootings, emergencies. Most of the stuff... Because, you know, I mean, don't take that out of context. It's not like our, sh our church is under attack by active shooters every five minutes or something silly like that. But, like... One thing that is very much certain, in areas where nobody fights back, the, the body count is exponential. Like, you put an extra zero at the at the end of the number of people who died, and, and that's uh, that's exactly how many people would have died. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the frame rate. Maybe that's the issue. Options. Game settings. Yeah, unlimited. 60? Unlimited sounds like too, too high. I don't know what that means. Apply changes, okay. That means it plays them all, right? Okay. It still seems... kind of shaky. Let's try it again. Doing this in real time. So what you have to do, what you should do, is you hopefully... there's a lot of heroes around where you are, or if you have not played around with this... The concept of, like, what you would do in a, in a crisis situation, it does not matter. <laughs> no. Can I just do it here? Why can't I do it here? But somebody's got to fight, right? Like, why not you? If you're listening to this video, if there's a crisis, and if you look at all the recent shootings that have been happening, like, there's documentaries on what people have done to like take down a shooter to stop the to, to turn a 300 killing to th into 30 and it, it's pretty it's pretty awesome so like when when i see that in this game where you know someone has to actively go out and fight i mean your antibodies do that to your your physical being oh oh momo are you leaving already i have to to fulfill my duty the matriarch has chosen me to be your support that must be because Dora isn't around. But I don't want to fight anything. I don't even know how to. <laughs> you just you just pick up a leaf, my dear. I will just get in the way. What about the technique give yours to turn lunar crystals into sigils? Would that be useful? If you bring me fag fragments of lunar crystals, such as the ones left by demons, I'll be able to turn them into sigils. Through the power of sigils, you'll be able to channel new abilities to be used in your missions. I have one here in my pocket. You can have it. 
will increase the power of your arrows when your stamina is full. Okay. I do believe this can be used to our advantage. Thank you, Cerisa. So that's my sister. You're welcome. I'll catch up to you soon. I have to prepare some supplies to leave the village. Be safe. Okay. I will use the sigil menu. Bloop. I can equip two. We have notes. Oh. We're good. Okay. Um, what time is it? Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep an accurate time count on. Is that what you do? You drop those little blue things? Okay. I mean, does that stay? Because I mean you're you, whatever you are, little ghosty, that's only useful if they stay. No, but they don't stay, okay. Well, you, you're maybe you're useful. Maybe, maybe. This is still the village. Seems like I should be able to go in that door. It's okay, though. Uh, no. <laughs> Luckily, it only takes mine points. Stop it. Sorry, this is... Right here is the point where I played up to. You want to get up here? So that guy, no, does not hurt me. He just slows me down, which is so frustrating. But you need to know... And you can just whack him back. That was one. Okay. That was a lot more than the damage we did to that boss, which was eight. 140 with an arrow is pretty substantial. I think that guy just always takes zero. It's a guardian or something. All right. Save game. There's a big one up top there. Oh my gosh, that is going to take me a while to get used to. 14 or 73. Hmm. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. That or I just wait till my stamina gets full. Really want to go check on that tree. I'm gonna go check on the tree. I'm gonna go check on the tree, then we'll go. Then we'll then we'll finish this one. So I know it's gonna be like hella boring, but and there's no fast travel yet. Maybe there is. Blue. Is that cloud guy only up here? Oh, okay. I'm hitting the. In what game is like the 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 trigger button roll? Is that enter the gungeon? Yes, yes. It might be. Maybe it's Brawlhalla. Yeah, well, I'm getting my buttons confused here. All right, I'm gonna go check on this tree. Use my verified Legend of Zelda method of dashing. Yeah, yeah. You guys say anything different? Magic points restored? Oh, is that... Did my little dude just poop something out right when I hit up? Okay. Oh, no. What am I going to do for a minute? Perhaps the matriarch says something. Like, what is, what is this little fishy thing? It's interesting. The water levels are different. Oh, I can only speak to you on this platform. Uh, okay. Nothing new. I just needed to burn a minute, Miss Matriarch. Thank you for your patience. Or maybe I forgot what I was doing. Alright, what's this do? Oh, come on! <laughs> Does the cheerleader have anything to say? Momo. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's a long minute, man. How about you, child? 
Oh. There's got to be a way to get to that cat up there. Well, now I'm just confused. So is that less than 60 seconds? <sighs> it's always time to pet a cat. Meow. Aw. I thought I should change my look after so long. Oh, she's, she said something else. Okay. Climb the ladder, maybe? No. It's like a picture of a toothless kid in the background there, which is kind of cute. You can't go in that door. Oh, that's what it does. It's a berry that increases health. Now I know. 50 health seems pretty substantial. All right, I think that'll do it for this one. Mo mainly dialogue, so I guess the next one's going to be exploration. Let me get back down, or at least hit the bell. And yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. Take care.